What's going on, everybody? Eric Lindquist at Stochastic coming to you with DraftKings PGA Tour Rainmakers. Excited to talk the PGA Championship at Oak Hill in Rochester, New York this weekend. Hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Goes a long way for me on this video. Goes a long way for you. That way I can keep doing this video. And also, because then you become a prize winner. Great content is going live here at our little neck of the YouTube woods. Look, my friends, there is a video description box below now. Uh, looks clean, looks efficient, looks easy. There is a pack. If you have not claimed it yet, go do it now. The PGA Tour Starter Pack costs you $0 to be able to go join. Jump down there. Get access to your free eight cards that you're going to be getting for this weekend. There is a lovely contest that I have conveniently pulled up here. Beginner, starter only, 10K guaranteed cash. You can only use your starter pack within that contest. So definitely going to be an opportunity to jump in. If you've checked out my video before, you know we're going to be going to the single entry, talking a little bit about what my process is going to be. I already built out a lineup, but you're going to pretend like we're just going to we're just going to get rid of it because I still have to build all of my core lineups here as well, get a couple of rares going. That's going to be great stuff as well, but these contests are gigantic. Again, so much money up for grabs here at DraftKings Rainmakers. We're combining NFTs, we're combining player cards, and we're going to go boop they're together. They're playing DFS. It's great stuff. So get access to that free starter pack. Again, if you do not have players that are eligible for this week, you can go to the craft and burn section. You simply go up to anywhere you go up here. You're going to go to my cards. I'm going to ignore all the UFC stuff going, even though I absolutely love the UFC product. Got a lot of those cards in action, but you can jump up here to the craft and burn section. Go to the PGA Tour, and you can get yourself some Alex Noren here. The other ones have sold out. There was Adam Hadwin. There was Andrew Putnam. We had JT Poston, my dude, the postman. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. And Corey Connors. That would have been the one you would have wanted for sure. I love Corey Connors this week. And then UFC product, fantastic stuff as well. Looking forward to the card this weekend. All the packs sold out pretty instantly this week. Love to see the demand up there for the uh, UFC contest as well. But of course... We're going to go back to the lobby, and we're going to build out this single. Actually, because I have the single entry one in there, we'll go to draft team. We're going to delete this and pretend like it doesn't exist. we got to make sure my location's good. Just like real estate, friends. It's location, location, location. But there are a couple of new features going this week here with Rainmakers. The first one being there is now a bulk entry upload. Check this out. So cool what you're able to do now. CSV upload, just like you have for regular DFS contests. There are going to be optimizers coming out constantly to try to meet the demand for all of the great things here with Rainmakers. I know it's stochastic. We're always adding new features, going to try to find as much stuff to help you as possible. Pretty sure there's something in the works here, but download the template for what you have going for the PGA Tour this week. You can see exactly which contests there are when you go to this CSV. Let's see. Let's make sure that this can actually share. Is it sharing on the other end? No, the CSV itself isn't going to share, but you're able to pull that up here, my friends, and you're able to upload your lineups directly. There are some partners that they have, Lucky Trader Stream and NFT. Good stuff. Definitely check those out. Um, great stuff here for the Rainmakers product, but love that they have uploads. That's going to be handy dandy when it comes down to it, my friends, because, uh, well, you know, football's on the horizon. Football is on the horizon. Let me double check this and make sure. Yeah, because I got I to gotta withdraw out of this one. There we go. And don't worry about the uh, the old foot or the old UFC stuff here, but we're going to jump there to the core contest. Now, there are a ton of other contests here as well, including gated contests that you need to have specific players for. So groups one and two Genesis sets. So if you have Genesis cards, you're able to jump in this for the Traveler's Experience. Really cool stuff that they're constantly doing not just in the PJ Tour streets, but in the UFC streets. Uh, just great opportunities. I'm going to be able to go to UFC 290 as a result. I'm excited for that one. Going to that in Vegas. Waking up in Vegas. Going to be a lot of fun. But let's start talking about the stuff you actually care about. Let's go to the single entry as I build it out. If you have John Rahm, you're just playing John Rahm in the captain spot. That's There are not enough players that are going to be in circulation here this week where you shouldn't be playing John Rahm in your captain spot every single time when you have him. If you have Scotty Scheffler and John Rahm in the same lineup, you congratulations. That is fantastic stuff. Right now, Scotty Scheffler is going for $46. The rare card going for 
These guys win everything. They are very difficult to get away from playing together in the same lineups. I'm actually going to try to get a couple of Schefflers and break up a little bit of exposure because they're the two best players in the world. I'm not going to get burned by it. Plus, there are still three major championships on the horizon. Lots of opportunities to be able to make some money still going forward in Rainmakers. They have the utility of the FedEx Cup playoffs, and both of them, they're going to be in that top 30. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Having them together for those lineups is going to be nifty. But... The next question becomes, well, where else do we go here? And as you could tell, Victor Hovland has been somebody that routinely at these majors, I'm going to be clicking on. We know he's around the green game. It's poor at best. It's not an ideal combination. Can, can roll it still, but uh, the chipping, it's going to elude him for probably his entire PGA Tour career. And I'm okay with it because when it's windy, when it's terrible out, it neutralizes it for a lot of people. And he's the best ball striker you're going to be running into on a day-to-day basis. So Victor Hovland, the all-around driving, it's nice to see him just striping it constantly here. 21st in strokes gained ball striking amongst this entire field and 12th strokes gained off the tee. That is useful, friends. And in DraftKings scoring, 10th amongst his last 50 rounds amongst this field. So Victor Hovland, I think he's a nice mid-range buy there too. You see Xander Shoffley coming off of back-to-back awesome weeks. Those cards have gone up. I haven't seen Victor Hovland uh, just set the world on fire here, and that requires cheaper price tag. I love that. I love getting to him there, but my favorite play on the entire week, $20. I know it's expensive, and it's inflated because he won the Mexico Open, and him and Rom were the only guys that we talked about, really, where right, you just played a lot of them, and then Brandon Wu ended up working out for me, too. Almost took down the single entry that week. That would have made for a fun bit, that's for sure, but Tony Finau, I love the game. I love where the iron play is specifically. I think that that's not talked about enough. Fourth strokes gained approach over his last 50 rounds amongst this field. It's pretty good, friends. It's pretty good. He's got his family traveling with him. I'm sure they're enjoying Rochester, New York as a family. Uh, Well, I was going to say, that's where Mormon... The Mormon narrative. That's where Rochester, New York is where Mormons began... We got to play Tony Finau in the captain spot now. I, I've just changed my mind. You don't bet against God. And therefore, there you go. Tony Finau, welcome to the captain spot. These are important things. This is what we work on here on the Rainmaker Show. But let's show a couple of these other cards. Jason Day coming off of a win. Good stuff. Good stuff. Glad I have a, at least a share of that. He's playing. A pra- He's not playing a practice round. I wanted to say that. He's not playing a practice round. Showing up as if this is a boy's trip. Going up to, you know, Scottsdale or Bandon Dunes for the U.S. contingent. Dude's just showing up and playing some golf. $13. I think that's a pretty good buy low. I mean, Beagle is more expensive. Justin Thomas is more expensive and has had worse form than Jason Day, which is just wild to say. But I'm playing Justin Thomas in single entry. Don't think that there's any reason to be getting away from that. But I know everybody wants to know, Eric, who are some of the cheapies you can go to? And as we're making our way downtown, Hideki Matsuyama, 1080. I think that's kind of in your ballpark, but this is the one that I'm in love with this week. Corey Connors, $5.45 for his core. I think the rare is very attainable at 2350 as well for you approach people. Uh, get yourself some access to a little Corey Connors in your life. Fits that ball striking mold that I'm looking at with Victor Hovland. He had a terrible Masters result, but previous to that had been awesome at the Masters. Put up a W already in this PGA Tour season. I don't see any reason that we wouldn't like Corey Connors considering he's 545. And then my dude, Keith Mitchell. Oh boy, am I going to be having a lot of Keith Mitchell coming in this week? A pretty clear cut that, you know, he's going to be a card that I just play more than other people. I have his number two approach. Not that that really matters uh, because, well, it's single entry. And I very highly doubt that there's going to be people who dupe. Going to matter more for like a core where you might run into some duplication on things. But Keith Mitchell, kill a Keith. He definitely has an opportunity to go stripe it. Pairs nicely with those Corey Connors builds that I'm alluding to. And my boy, Sam Burns, feel like he's a require requirement to talk about. Five-time PGA Tour winner. He's 60 to one at DraftKings Sportsbook right now. That number has just gone up, up, up. It's almost like no respect. He goes out and wins the match play. Now has six, uh, no, sorry, five PGA Tour titles to his name. And he plays these tactician, long iron, par 70s pretty well. Colonial ends up winning that one in a playoff over Scotty Scheffler, one of the guys to take down the beast, his good friend, Scotty Scheffler. And then also Innisbrook. That's a very difficult golf course. These are bent grass green, 7,400 yards, par 70, two massive par fives at Oak Hill. But 
That reminds me a little bit of Ennisbrook. Long, long, rough. Very penal to be hitting it off the fairway there. So Sam Burns, going to be a piece I want to be getting access to as well. Not sure if I'm going to be playing him in my single entry build here in the core contest. Still kind of deciding. But if you're looking for some long shot flyers for your contest this week, hey, Eric, I don't want to spend more than $10 or $15 on a build. You can do that. It's more, it's more. You're more than capable as we make our way in. I should probably find one other addition. Love Cam Young this week. Love Wyndham Clark, who, again, why did I sell his rare card? Oh, I was so dumb early in the season. I make mistakes too, okay? I love Siwoo Kim. I think you could tell I have four cards of it. I hope I like him in this regard. But looking at KH Lee, this is a piece that I'm absolutely obsessed with for this golf course too. A bomber. Yeah, there's a lot of bombers that I'm going to be rostering this week. And at $5.50, he really fits the mold of a boom-bust type style play. Uh there's not really a whole lot else to add there. I mean, he's going to ball strike it. He can roll it from time to time. Uh, we saw him gain over six strokes uh, at the Wells Fargo. Again, a, a super fast, firm greens like we're going to run into here. Going to be a little bit more wind popping up here. Let's throw one more out there for the people. Adam Svensson, I'm okay with it. Not absolutely in love with it. But uh, this is, this is uh, one other guy I wanted to talk about. I was pretty against some people who were talking about Patrick Rogers as some must have piece uh, a couple of weeks ago. And he seems like he's just been garnering a little bit too much steam, but at $3 on a golf course that you need to hit it low and far with the driver and need to have it in play. Patrick Rogers is a little bit sneaky to me. He uh, super in shape over the top traps the golf ball, but bombs it with that left to right ball flight, low and piercing left to right ball flight, not, the norm, that's for sure. Patrick Rogers, I think, has the outside chance. Yes, outside chance to put up that T20 for all of you people looking for a cheaper buy. And the last one, Gary Woodland, sub $5. I'm going to be buying lots of these cards tonight. That is for sure. I'm going to be adding them to the fray. Sold a couple of things earlier, but Gary Woodland just makes all the sense in all the land as a piece that you want to be completing all of your stuff with. So Gary Woodland, again, won at Pebble Beach in super windy U.S. Open conditions. Par, I think they played that. No, they played at 71, I'm pretty sure, still as well. But Gary Woodland has the major pedigree, has the ball flight from Kansas. Fire him up. Friends, so many things, so many great opportunities to make some money on Rainmakers this weekend. Make sure you're, you're signing up and getting that free pack below. Also, also, check out that bulk entry feature that they now have that I walked through a little bit of. Check out that CSV, see how everything uh, is put together. Again, here at Stochastic, we're constantly going to be working on products to help fit your needs. So let us know uh, what you want from that bulk entry CSV, how you can fire that up. Most importantly, go to that video description box below. Let me know who your favorite play is in the Rainmaker streets, maybe according to price. Uh, that might be a good way of doing it because, well, Scotty Scheffler. I think he's a pretty good buy this week. Just saying. All right, y'all. I'll be back next week per usual talking more PGA Tour Rainmakers. Until then, I'm Eric Lindquist. Best of luck at Oak Hill at the PGA Championship this weekend.